Okay then, what's going on guys, it's your boy GT. Here we are. Here we are at Moss Heights Avenue. I'm going to try and get into 80 to 180 Moss Heights Avenue. So I guess, see you guys later when we get into the block. Giggity. Okay then, we made it into number 80 Moss Heights Avenue. Two flats there. Get to the back door here. Take you into the back bit of the block. You see there? 80. So anyway, I'm going to give you guys a wee little tour of this historic tower block. As you might have seen in the video that I've done previously, this tower was built in 1954. First proper 1950s tower I've ever done on this channel. So we're going up to 49, which is the top of the block. But yeah, this block is really unique. Because unlike most tower blocks that have got multiple entrances, they normally have like secure entry doors at each end. So you're only pretty much stuck in the one bit. But with boss heights, it's completely different. Because you'll see what I mean and when we get down two floors. But this is nine. Again, only two floors. So I'll show you up here to floor ten. Which is just nothing. It's just a left motor room. That's floor ten. It's me there, for low. Trust me, you can get a better view if you go down two floors down to seven. And then you'll see what this is all about. You get a stunning view even though you're only nine floors up. Eight. Seven. Because you can actually go out onto the landings and walk right across the whole fucking building. Like this. Absolute stunning view from up here, even though you're only seven floors up. Look at that. Classic 1950s architecture. I will be doing a video on Crathy Court whenever I can. Is that is actually Glasgow's first proper tower block. This is the one that's like This is more famous than Crathy. Even though technically Crathy Court is actually the first first building. Fucking old me a prick. There we go. Some of these doors might be a bit hard, but you can see what I mean. You literally walk right across the whole fucking block. It's amazing. There's no other tower block like this in Glasgow. Crathy Court, right? I've been in that once. And how did I put it? It's just like any other generic tower block really, but it's got more of an art deco sort of style. This is the first proper like brutalist style of tower block in Glasgow. I fucking love it. I actually do love this place. Right, see what I'm going different sort of closest. Right, see it there. Look at that architecture man. Absolutely stunning. Even though it's only nine floors high. Fucking beautiful buildings, like just admire that architecture for one second. You're not going to see anything like this being built again in Glasgow, thankfully. These have stood the test of time and actually don't look too bad, even though they're about nearly 70 years old. I 69 years old, these blocks are because it's called 54, it's 2023. In one month's time, these blocks will be, you know, roughly 70 years old. And that is quite amazing, because I thought that it's a tower block. And it's actually been preserved.
There's Queensland Court over there. This is the end up there, you can't go out to the boat anymore. But I could just sit here for a wee minute and admire this view. Bye, there's another what we're doing there, I think on 4 4. Don't know, it's either 4 or 5. You can see it down there. Absolutely stunning place. I 50s blocks get something special about them. But anyway. Let's head downstairs. Now we're in 180. So we started off in 80 and we're finishing on 180. Just gotta be careful with my feet because it was slippy out there. Well, it's wet in there and it's very fucking slippy in here. So this is five. I have a fucking tiny lift. Bye, that's another unusual thing with this block. Is that unlike most tower blocks, Moss Heights only has one lift per close. And they're tiny as you've seen at the start of this video. But I absolutely love blocks like these, man. Proper dated but still nice and modern inside. You can definitely tell right away it's a 50s tower. Don't get stuff like this nowadays. It's kind of even makes so like sixties blocks look kind of well boring. Even though I never normally say that. But as you see there, the architecture on this place is just sensational. Finish off the video by looking outside. Here we are back on the ground. You said our flats are at the exact same position in the whole tower. There's the lift there. Absolutely beautiful place. But as you see now, we're at 180. Absolutely stunning. There's the other bloody block there. There's three of them. Three of these towers. That one there, lovely little geek. There's 180. Should I say 140? Is that 160 or 140? I don't fucking know. But it's, it's the other side. We've pretty much walked from there right along to here. Absolutely beautiful buildings, man. So glad these are preserved. So fucking glad about that. Two hundred. These are right, nine floors. That's absolutely just fucking beautiful. Now the P seven oh seven's gone. Replaced with the world's smallest fucking column with an ASD and with a micro on it. A bit bright. There we go, ASD Highway Dive Micro on the world's smallest fucking column. And a wee tidy 2015 down there. Bye, you can tell I absolutely love Moss Heights. The best fucking places ever in the history of Tower Blocks. My Crafty Court video will be next, so you guys stay tuned for that. So I guess, see you guys later. So, giggity, go. Giggity, do, giggity.